My name is Mohamed Hassan Mahmoud, and uh, I'm a Somali refugee from Kakuma refugee camp. I've been living in that camp for more than 20 years of my life. I grew up in the camp. Uh, I went to school in the camp. When you live in a camp for 10, 15, 20 years, you start to lose yourself as the complexity of your situation dawns on you and the years roll by. You slip away and you become trapped in your own head. Because other people have given up on you, you also start to give up on yourself. And then you're sucked into a vicious cycle of dependency, victimhood mentality, and hopelessness. But education changes that narrative. Education tells you that there's a different way. Away from depression, away from hopelessness. For a refugee person, education becomes a tool to transcend their circumstances. When I say education changes a refugee's life, I'm not merely talking about the fact that education enables you to get a job and then you can work for yourself. I'm not talking about that aspect. I'm talking about the other side of education, the effect education has on your soul, on your mental health, because education allows you to develop your capacity in critical thinking. It allows you to reason, to look what's going on around you, to self-analyze, and then you become a useful member of your community, and you're also able to help and inspire other people in your community and also society at large. Refugees have a passion to go to school. You see young children rushing to go to school barefoot. And although classes are overcrowded and resources are stretched thin, that does not deter them away from pursuing education. It's easy to say that you believe in equal opportunity. It's easy to sympathize with displaced people. It's a lot harder to put your money where your values are, to contribute, to support refugee education in Kenya.